confused. And I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. Maybe if I tell you, help me work it out. I can listen to myself and see if it makes any sense at all. Nothing ever goes right for me. When you only ever make bad mistakes in your life, it kind of makes you, I don't know, afraid to take another step. Oh, by the way, if anyone gets to see this and they don't know me, you have my sympathies. My name's Elise. I'm 14 and a half. Yeah, I know, I don't look here. Then again, who wants to look 14? 9, 10, 11, you're cute. Everybody loves you. 14. You're nothing. You're nobody. You know, you're too young to make any major decisions in your life. But you're too, big, too old to be daddy's little girl anymore. Why can't you hibernate for five years and then just suddenly emerge? It's carefree 16 year olds. You know, no peewee stuff to get used to. No half my body to have to cope with. Just to pop out of bed at 16. Now that's what I'd like to do. That chance. Well, only a year or so to go now. Now, honestly, this isn't what it's all about. Let me introduce you to the star of this performance. Well, Spark at least. This is my baby, Lizzie. The love of my life. My new life. As you can probably imagine, I'm not this happy little housewife, you know, with a wonderful new family around me, dishwasher, summer holidays in the Bahamas. I'm just a kid with a baby. So cool when I first met him. Lizzie's birthday is. All the girls were after him. Lovely blonde hair. Big brown eyes. It's all funny inside when I saw him. Funny how those things mean nothing when your stomach's out here and you've got such backache you can hardly move. What a dead loss. I'm hoping to win in one move. I thought it was smart to do. Knew all the moves. Parents are going away for the weekend. And I was supposed to be around my mates. Alright, I know. I knew what I was doing. I'm not pretending I didn't. Mm. So I kind of trusted him. He said he loved me. Loved. What's that supposed to be? A word to come into bed, that's what it is. I guess I do know what condoms will. It's shiny enough of them at school. It's the right book. Didn't think it could happen the first time. Or was I wrong? You are wrong. Take it from me, the only way to be really safe is to keep him and it at a distance. Nothing's as safe as that. At least I didn't get some sort of disease. Said I was his first. How many girls said that to me? What if you did give me something though? Would I know by now? Could I have given it to Lizzie? Makes me shudder just thinking what could have happened. And then they say the safe thing can stay in your body sleeping for 10 years without you even knowing. Could be happily married with a couple of kids, even forgotten who he was. Next thing you know, you're on some list waiting to die. Could get checked out. Maybe it's better not to know. I'm not saying I never would get checked. I think everybody should at some point, you know. Before getting married, it wouldn't be fair him otherwise. But while it's just me, it would clear my mind. I'll leave that until later. Some days I wish you'd never been born. That if it wasn't him, it would have been somebody else. 
I was asked for bread. Everyone said it was this great event in your life. You didn't know what life was till you'd done it. Had more fun at Margate. Another triple expensive ten minutes it turned out to be. What I let down. Of course he denied it. Reckoned we never went far enough. Can somebody be like that? Make a new life and then just walk away from it? I was really scared of what Dad might do. Thought he might try and drag his name out of me. Go around his house and smash his face in. He's always been so protective of me. Taking me everywhere by car. Wanting to know who all my friends are. Everything. So I told Mum first. I sat down and just came out with it. She looked back at me like I was a complete stranger, not saying a word. Then I told her I wanted to keep it. She looked down and nodded. She asked me, does the father know? Then she said she'd tell Dad. That night I could hear them shouting, like forever. Then Dad knocked on the door and came in. Sat on my bed, held my hand. And with this really warm expression on his face, told me everything would be okay. And I believed him. He made me think that all my worries would be over. That everything would be alright. And to sit back and wait for her to pop out. Then my life will get back to normal. No chance. Yeah, Mum does help me. She takes Lizzie off my hands sometimes. But basically it's down to me. Mum's got her job, and with the extra mouth to feed, we sure need the money. And Dad's slightly better than useless with her. So here I am, stuck at home. I have no idea what it'd be like. I never stop. From the moment she gets up and I drag myself out of this bed, till she sleeps again, I don't have a minute. washed and dressed, changing nappies all the time, regular feeds, I never stop. I feel like a machine. My life's not my own. It's controlled by this screaming eating monster. And I can't see how it will ever change. See, she's awake already. I'll get back to you later.